Hi, I'm Mark Camosio, and I'm here to tell you about one of the latest rifles from Brocock, which is their concept. Um, it's basically a very slimline model right the way through, and it's, uh, it's a very neat little design. And uh, having had it through for a review recently, it, I can tell you it shoots pretty well as good as it looks. Um, everything's slimline about it, the, uh, which obviously means it's a lightweight rifle. Um, and of course, it's designed probably primarily as a hunter, but it's because of its lightweight, um, compact proportions, it's very suitable for uh, ladies and juniors to get them into the sport, as well as being a highly portable hunting rifle um, that you can obviously carry around for the whole day and uh, not find it too much of a burden. Um, <clears throat> there's quite a few nice features on this rifle. Um, looking at the action first, Brocock have done a lovely job on the bolt and obviously it's a pre-charged pneumatic with the traditional styling so you've got your under cylinder barrel over the top, um, standard features for a, for a modern pneumatic and a bolt action system um, that basically is actioned by the, uh, a, a side push button and you push that down and it releases the bolt and then it will require the bolt to be pulled back after that. Um, I can do that just to dry fire it. Very smooth action on the bolt. Load your pellet through into the loading channel as usual, um, rolling it across and then all you do is push the bolt home after that and that's it. Um, I'll just dry fire that off. But it's all very crisp, it's a very nice design, particularly slick, fairly effortless and um, a nice bit of engineering. Um, you've then got two threaded caps which are, uh, again when you undo them, it's a sort of sign of the uh, very nice engineering. The bottom one is the thread cap to cover your uh, air valve. Um, this is the use, utilising a day state style bayonet um, connection which would come for onto your bottle or pump. All very neatly done and at the crown of the muzzle you've got another very nicely machined threaded cap and that will allow the um, addition of a primary silencer. I would recommend a silencer with this particular rifle. There is quite a significant crack um, and it will probably help on the balance as well. You've got a, a semi-floating barrel which is held within the clamp at the front. Uh, there's a nylon o-ring uh, within the clamp which is um, all fairly standard on pneumatics now. Um, with this design, despite it being quite compact and a relatively small cylinder, you're still getting 60 shots. And as I say, I've, I've tested this rifle significantly now and it comes in virtually on the button to that. So you're getting 60 good shots, which is pretty good going. The trigger is um, a two-stage adjustable. It's not overly sophisticated, but it's particularly pleasant in use. And the first stage is um, very light, which really does add to the whole overall pleasant feel of the rifle. Looking at the woodwork, um, as you can see, you've got a rather nice, a tasteful walnut stock with some nice figuring. And of course, the key feature here is the adjustable rubber butt pad. And although on many rifles now, sort of match rifles, etc., they'll go the full hog with an adjustable cheek piece. In my experience, the butt pad is um, arguably the more important factor. And that really does allow, just by adjusting the butt, it allows you to get a uh, to get a position in your shoulder that suits your stance and, and feel. Um, <clears throat> in addition to that, you've got um, that the actual configuration of the wood is totally ambidextrous, and that's again right the way through. There's a dual thumb shelf on the uh, stock, um, quite subtly done, but in, uh, in practice it feels very nice. You've got a uh, nicely um, contoured pistol grip with a swell, a palm swell there and it's quite target style in the way it comes down to a near 90 degree drop. But uh, all in all it does feel particularly nice um, on, on the aim. You've got fairly high um, raised comb at the back with nice definition and uh, style there. 
Um, checkering wise, you've got dual panels. There's skip line checkering, nicely cut skip line checkering on each side of the fore end and obviously on the pistol grip. So it's, it's, uh, you're not going to drop it in a hurry. Um, in addition to this, this came fitted for the purposes of the test from Brocock with one of their compact um, Warther scopes. This is a 4x32 model, fairly basic specification, yet it just complements this rifle beautifully. Um, it doesn't over uh, change the balance of the rifle and this scope's actually got a, a green and red illuminated reticule, parallax adjustment and mill dots, so it's, it's a nice little package. Um, as I say, uh, I can't recommend this highly enough having shot it and if you want an entry level pneumatic that's uh, going to suit just about everybody as far as stature and uh, build, this is a cracking rifle. So that's the Brocock concept. Right, we'll just have a couple of shots downrange. So again you've got the uh, bolt release, we'll just push that down, pull the bolt back, particularly smooth bolts on these by the way. Roll the pellet into the loading chamber, so that's ready to go. Push your bolt home and you're away. It's all very slick and smooth in operation on these. Push that home and we're there. There you go, that's the Brocock concept and uh, particularly impressive little rifle it is too.